Hey, hey, y'all. What's up? If y'all are enjoying what y'all have seen or are seeing or are just looking at right now on this channel, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. And don't think twice about hitting the bell if you want to be here every time I'm here. Um, during the seven years that I have done tarot, one of the most common sets of questions that I have answered is just basic career questions. People have various career paths that they're curious about and they just say, you know, should I go into this? So I decided to go ahead and throw a few of these out there um, as they may be a help to some people, you know, and just think of some of the more common questions that I have gotten. Okay. Um, of these common questions, one of the more common career questions that I get, and these will be short reason, readings, people often wonder if they should go into nursing. Um, this is a very common, you know, and good and lucrative field. So we're just going to go into the cards for whoever out there this may be for, okay? And we're just going to do a quick one too, um, you know, okay? We're just going to look into this. What is the outlook right now for those feminines in the collective divine mother that may be looking to go into nursing? Obviously, this is a great occupation for the divine feminine. It is about caring. It is about um, counsel. It is about covering. It is about helping. It is about healing. Okay. So right out the gate, we see the seven of pentacles. Okay. We see the seven of pentacles. We see the Knight of Cups. Y'all know I'm always so anal about how the cards is placed. We see the King of Wands. We see the Empress. And we see the Two of Swords. Anybody out there right now that's considering going into nursing... You got to be really serious. Um, obviously, there is money in it. Um, and you're walking into it, but you're going to be walking into it. You're going to have to put so much energy into it. Um, obviously, you want... It's Now, listen. This is what I'm getting. For this collective that we're talking about, because we're looking at the Empress. So, we're talking to the people out there in the collective. So, we're talking to our divine femin feminines, our spiritual energies. Um, this is for those that are called to nursing. This is, this is who this reading is for. Um, no shade to anyone else. This particular reading is for those that are called into nursing. That is literally what we see. We see the Empress, those that are called into nursing, that are called into the office of healing. For those of you that are looking to go into it, this is a spiritual calling and you want to go into it and you want to go into an understanding that you're going into it to serve spirit. Uh, the Empress to a source energy and you want to go into it with a cross my heart hope to die. I'm here to serve, serve spirit. I'm here to be a servant. You want to go into it with that. It is going to be tough. Okay. You are going to go into it giving up a lot of energy. There is financial gain in it. Um, it is a spiritual call for you for those that want to go into it. You're not going to see the money right away for a pentacles energy um, coming out the gate. We do see the tower card coming through. So you're not going to see money right away. Listen, this thing is going to be something else, okay? For those of you that are thinking of embarking on it, because we got to think about nursing school. And that is the energy that we're getting right now. So you're not going to see money right away. You're going to spend money, okay? You're going to spend money to go to nursing school. Nursing school is going to be a hell of a thing, okay? The tower energy. Five of Cups, there is going to be some mourning. It's going to kick your whole ass, okay? But then we see the new beginning on the other side, Ace of Wands. We see the Ace of Wands coming through here, okay? So we do see that there is a uh, sunshine after the rain, but it's serious business, okay? And remember, this is for the folks that we're talking about coming through, and it's a spiritual calling for you. So you know that you need to be divinely covered. You need to be protecting yourself because you see that seven of swords, okay? You're going into this as one of the divine. You're going into this with a spiritual calling. You may even be going into this to say you want to be a nepropath. Or you may be going into this saying that you want to add aromatherapy to your practice. Or you want to go into this... Um, doing, you know, hospice care. You may be somebody that's going into this saying you want to help, you know, babies be born. You want to do labor and delivery. You may be somebody going into this saying with well, hospice care, you want to help people transition out of here. When you're called into nursing, you're answering a high call. Think of Florence Nightingale. 
right? People that were literally called to nurse. And when you're going into it in something like that, you have to be covered because you're going into a spiritual office. You're not just getting a vocational occupation. You're going in with a spiritual calling. So make sure you're covering yourself because they're going to be seven of sword spirits. We see them creeping in that are going to say to themselves, let me steal her energy. Let me steal her money. Let me make time and work difficult for her. So you want to make sure you're covering yourself. If you are thinking of being one of the feminists that answer, answers this call, because we're seeing there is a spiritual call for nurses. If anybody's been paying attention, that attention, there's actually a nursing shortage. Okay, so we see some of the call for nursing isn't just for uh, educated nurses, you know, LPNs or whatever the case may be, RNs, you know, uh, master's degree level nurses, doctor degree level nurses, but also in the in the spiritual realm for chosen nurses. Okay, there's also we're seeing here in this reading, there's also a call for chosen nurses. Okay, so keep that in mind. Those of you that are going to this as chosen nurses know you're coming in as the light. They're going to be people trying to sneak and steal it, but you got to be on top of it. So if you're one of those nurses, start your prayer work now. Now, when you start thinking of getting on the path, don't wait till you get in nursing school. Don't wait till you get on the floor. Start, start praying now, okay? Be on top of these spirits, okay? Guard yourself along the way, page of swords energy, okay? Know that you're going to get the reward in the end, six of pentacles energy. You guys will do well working in teaching hospitals, okay? Working in teaching hospitals, also work in hospitals that still stick to spiritual concepts, not necessarily working in for-profit hospitals. Maybe you want to work in hospitals that are still closely, closely aligned to Catholicism or, you know, different practices that at least have a spiritual foundation. And you will see a new beginning in this, okay? And a new start for yourself in every way. So for those of y'all that were thinking of going into nursing, if you feel called to nursing spiritually, you definitely want to go into nursing. You want to have a spiritual covering over yourself once you start your path. And you want to have a spiritual covering over yourself as you maneuver through nursing on the day to day. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this blesses someone's career path. I hope this helps someone identify whether or not they're anointed to nursing. And if you enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead and make sure to like, share, subscribe. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one. And hit the bell if y'all want to catch me, okay? <laughs>